Welcome, everyone. Hey. Hi, Allison. As you can see, the party has already started. Yeah. Guys, I want you to say hello to eight-time NFL Pro Bowler from the San Diego Chargers, tight end Antonio Gates. Yeah. Hey. Antonio Gates. How y'all doing? Antonio Gates is the dude. I pick him up on my fantasy leagues whenever I can because, I mean, he's a clutch player. The NFL is dedicated to helping kids get moving. But right now, I have some kids that I know want to get moving. Welcome back, Bingo, Sunny, and Lindsay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Our representatives in the challenge to fight childhood obesity. What's up, Bingo? Seeing Bingo, Sonny, and Lindsay again was awesome. You know, we didn't know when we were going to see them again, and so to actually see them come out in the mix was really exciting. They've been warming up with the kids from High Desert School. Say hi, guys! We're so excited to see Sonny. She has been our good luck charm. She's just such an amazing kid. I'm so glad she's on our team. So nice to have you all here. Thank you. Head on, join your teams. Woo! Hey, guys! <laughs> So I probably don't have the best eating habits. I love chocolate ice cream. When my parents go to sleep, I usually sneak food by the side of my bed. Some chocolate, some more chocolate. I just want to be a normal kid of normal weight that doesn't get made fun of. What a surprise to see you today. I was on a cheerleading team before for two years, and I didn't go back this year because I felt very uncomfortable with myself. And there was a couple of girls that would just like whisper and just look at me and laugh. I don't understand why they're so rude to a person who's just trying to do what they love to do. What's going on? Where's everyone? This is it. This is it. This is us, baby. You know, I'm 16 years old, and you know, at this point, a lot of my friends are dating and they have boyfriends, and you know, I haven't gone on a date before, and it can be really tough at times because. You know, I want to go to prom with the date, and I really feel as if I have to lose weight and feel attractive myself before I can, um, you know, find somebody who will find me attractive. So let's start with you, Bingo. What's it been like? You've been home for a week. It's uh, definitely a new experience back at home. I mean, having to, like, pack my own lunch and actually having to force myself to just eat my lunch, uh, it's definitely uh, harder than having all my friends sitting around uh, eating all the unhealthy stuff. Talk to me about the nutrition, Lindsay. What's that like? It wasn't that difficult because I have a very big support system at home, but it was kind of difficult to leave the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Sunny? What's the hardest part of being at home? Um, definitely the fact that we have so many other responsibilities on top of having to lose weight, you know, school, um, friends, sports. But I found that I really can do it, and I've been eating healthy and working out every day, and I just feel so great on the inside and the outside. Well, I love hearing that. One weekend, it sounds like you three are doing fantastic, and we are so excited to have you back with us again today. Antonio, do you have some advice for these kids and all the kids out there? What's the best thing they can do to get fit? I personally recommend after-school activities, whether or not it's sports, or being active, uh, doing things around the house, mowing the lawn, raking the grass. For those on the East Coast, Midwest, shoveling the snow, uh, those are all the things that I think ultimately will get them fit. You're from Michigan, right? You did some yeah, yeah, snow shoveling yeah, in your yeah. day, right? It's a good workout. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I bet.